What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today and we are back with some Border Gavaskar trophy match review. I mean we got the third test match, end of day one. Of course, look, yes, the first two test matches, we choose not to talk about those. We've reviewed them. They're in the past. Let's not speak about those anymore. But hey, third test match, day one's done. And Australia, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it if I told you, we lead by 47 runs at the end of day one in indoor Carnage. I think that's one way to describe what has happened here on day one. But hey, if you are new around here, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down your current thoughts where the match is sitting and what you think will happen here on day two. It's been, it was a very... <laughs> could not take your eyes off it on day one. Seriously, it was just an absolute bloodfest, really, for, for, for Team India getting bold and then Australia putting on some pressure, which we haven't seen happen at all during this series. So, hey... We're here to run through it all, all the big talking points from day one. There's plenty. There is plenty to take from this one. And I know a lot of the Indian fans, you know, they've dominated this series. They have felt comfortable. And now they're being pushed and on the back foot. They've got some things that need to be spoken about. So I know the Indian fans, a lot of them are waiting to hear the real truth. And, um, you know, I'm someone who doesn't beat around the bush. I'm going to be honest of where I thought it went wrong for India um, and, you know, just a few other points that we will talk about in this review. So, hey, let's get into it. Let's go straight into it. India win the toss here, send themselves into bat. Look, I think both teams would have done the same thing. The thought of, you know, putting early runs on this pitch before it really starts to, to, to fucking get more dusty and open up and do all, all sorts of magic. You would have thought to get runs on the board early, and look, they put 109 runs on the board, but that is just not what they would have wanted at all. First score projections here, anything over, I would want to say anything over 200 in a first inning score would have been fantastic here, but they fall about 100 short of that on this indoor wicket. Let's talk about the pitch and the wicket for a moment now. I'm not going to be your... No, I'm not Fox Sports. I'm not going to sit here and cry about it, even though we're winning at the at the time. But, you know, it's... it's let's be real. It's not exactly up to test match standard. Um, you know... You have to watch that first innings to see some of the turn and the degree of difficulty. Like, the delivery that the man Rohit Sharma got. I mean, there's not much he could have done about it. Tried to... T was this the one where it, it spun, like eight degrees it was just you just could not believe the degree of spin some of the deliveries were getting um and the pitch ah look i mean it's test match cricket you know we've just come off seeing england versus new zealand in a five-day test match that went right down to the wire and now we're going to get a test match here that may just finish in two to three days again which is not the result anyone wants because what the fuck am I meant to do? Day three, day four, day five, my plans were to watch cricket. So now I've got to think of other stuff to do. <laughs> like, man, it just, you know, it takes you out of life. You know, you just sit and watch some cricket. Now they're taking that away from us with these dodgy wickets. I mean, like, is it is it up to the curator for this one? Or because it's not like this is favoring Team India either. It's, it's not really favoring anyone. And thankfully that we got the good end of the stick and we've had some, you know, solid batting. It was an overall amazing bowling from India as well. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. India, as I said, the bat first. Hitman goes, stumped, moves up the crease. He's the first wicket of the day. He's the big man, Rowie. Matt Kuhneman picks up the first one. Shukman Gill. So he, he replaces that man, KL, um, Orange Cap Rahul, and... Was it the right decision? I think all, everyone would say yes. He did play a beautiful shot. There was one shot that Shutman played early in that innings that was just incredibly beautiful. But he goes for 21. India on the back foot early. Matty Kuhneman's taken two for And I'm thinking, this guy's the second coming of bloody <laughs> Jadeja out here. Pajara. Again, another one goes through him. He's bowled middle peg for one. Pressure's right on early. Virat's had to come out. Jadeja comes out at five because the pressure's on early. Jadu is obviously known as a great player of spin. Goes out. 
Aya yeah, then comes out. He gets bowled by Matty Kuhneman, just edges one straight onto the stumps, and you've got a lone warrior out there in Virat Kohli who faced 52 deliveries, had 22 runs of his own, two fours. Easily looked the most settled out here than maybe like Umesh Yadda have, who went bananas at the end, but it just overall wasn't good batting from Team India. Um, it, they just it, Now, this just might be an assumption, but it looked like they thought they were going to go out there and it was just going to happen like the first two matches. Like, oh, we've already retained the trophy. We're going to go out there. We're going to dominate on this spin-friendly track again. It'll be no dramas. Maybe not. There's a, <laughs> there's a bit in it. There's a bit more in this pitch than there was in Dali and Nagpur. And the fact of that is that Matty Kuhneman, Nathan Lyon, Todd Murphy were spinning absolute webs. Gee, it was fun to watch. There's, there's nothing really more fun than watching your two to three spinners just go at it on this sort of deck. Now, look, of course, the deck not up to where you'd want it to be in a test match, but at least it provides something, you know, crazy for the spinners, and it, it is good viewing for that. So, Coley played a good 22, goes out LBW, um, did review it. Wasn't really a great review. It was out. Uh, Shereya Sayer gone for a golden egg. Uh, Shrika Barat gone for 17. Aksar not out for 12. So he continues his, you know, form of runs and average in this series. I mean, he's dominating with the bat. Uh, Ashwin, 3. Umesh, 17. And Suraj out for a golden duck. So for once... India's tail order has not completely played us out of this game and made me want to cry all night. So Aksar, you know, thankfully didn't get much opportunity to go large. Umesh Yadav. Is that Brendan McCullum? Who the hell was that? <laughs> he got on the front foot like twice and just smacked two sixes. And I'm thinking, Umesh, what the hell? I didn't even know he could do that. I'm going to be honest. I thought he... Look, obviously, yes, if you're a professional cricketer, you can hit a six, but I did not think he had the stroke power to get down on one knee and pump it for six over the rope, but he did. It was pretty impressive, actually. Um, but hey, India, just looking at this as well, this is crazy. There was zero extras from Australia the entire innings. Not one wide, not one no ball. That's a fair effort. I'll give credit there. All right, the fall of wickets here, you just can tell. One for 27, two for 34, two for, uh, three for 36, four for 44, four, five for 45, six for 70. It's pretty much fucking over then um, for, for the innings. I mean, as good as their tail end is, again, on this sort of wicket, if you can put any sort of partnership that's 100 or more, you, you, you're going quite well. The Aussie bowlers, Mitchell Stark and Cam Green, both return to the lineup. Neither take a wicket, but they didn't have to bowl that much. Mitchell Stark and Cam Green opening up with the new pill. None for 21, none for 14, respectively. <laughs> Forget about the paceman. Matty Kuhneman. Five for 16, two maidens, nine overs only. That's all he needed to do his work here. The Queensland man, Matty Kuhneman. You know, for someone who does not get spoken about in Australia, domestic circles, like... He is not, like, yes, he made his ODI debut um, in Sri Lanka, I think it was, last year. Um, and he played a few ODI matches against Bangladesh as well, I think it was. But other than that, you know, he wasn't too impressive in that. I don't think we saw too much from that that, you know, made anyone go, yeah, he's a future of this team. But you see what he's doing in these sort of conditions. <laughs> it's drives. And he just has to hit it in those right areas. That's what I love about Matt Kuhneman. That is the thing that I've watched the most with him is his consistency to hit that same spot every single time and make the batsmen have to literally play as much as they can. Um, and Matt Kuhneman, well done. Takes Pfeiffer. You know, you'll have to see it. I'm, I'm very happy to see these new guys come in and, and have an impact. Nathan Lyon, three for 35. The man, I love him. I want to rub his bald head. Um... Just a great man, isn't he? He's bowling terrific. Toddy Murph as well gets one wicket. And of course, he's one wicket. It just had to be Virat Kohli, didn't it? So, look, he's... Uh, I think that's the third time that Murphy's got him out now in this series. So, it's just, you know, you don't want to say it early. But is Kohli Todd Murphy's bunny? 
Now, obviously, you need probably more than five or six times to dismiss someone before you would say they're your bunny, but three test matches, you've gotten Coley out three times. It's not bad. <laughs> That's a good ratio right there. You'd be feeling pretty pumped about yourself. I know I sure would. All right. Australia, into bat, India all tumbled out for 109. Yeah, just poor. Just really poor from the Indian batsmen. Look, it's not... It wasn't impossible to be out there and bat, and the Aussies proved it. It's not like the pitch and the, you know, everything changed within an hour and suddenly the pitch became flatter or suddenly it stopped spinning as much. India did not bowl that well. We have to be honest here. India did not bowl that well. I mean, Jadeja, <laughs> he always bowls fucking well. I mean, the man took four wickets already. God damn, Jadeja, please leave us alone. You're just bullying us. I don't like it. But anyway, Ashwin, he bowled way too full. He bowled incredibly too full. Um, even Axar, when he came on, was a little bit too full, a little bit too wide. I don't know what they were thinking. To be honest, were they thinking that the pitch was going to do it all for them? Or were they trying to do too much variety with the ball? I, th I thought Ashwin was trying to do a little bit too much. He then brought it back, you know, towards the end of play and started pitching it a bit shorter. But other than Jadeja, there was no one really bowling good lengths. It was just a lot of full stuff. And obviously, when you're trying to get the ball to turn and to set the batsman, if you're bowling at full, it's not going to do much. So, you know, definitely something they have to think about and tweak coming into day two does India... And the other big talking point out of India's fielding, uh, look, did drop a catch at slip of Manus. Missed a review on Manus as well. <laughs> this guy, Manus Labaskugni, has got to be the most luckiest damn cricketer on the earth. I mean, seriously, the man rubs a rabbit foot before he goes out there every time. Um, but eventually got him out for 31. <clears throat> they burnt three reviews, though, unfortunately, India. And could be something that comes very, very costly in this first innings here. You burn all three within the first, what was it, 20 overs, 30 overs, if that. All three were used on Jadeja as well. Now, look, Jadu, he's a, he's a, he's a legend. He's, he's fantastic. He's incredible. But using three reviews on the same guy has got to be a, like a record. Or, that's just got to be too many, right? Like, you've got to <laughs> give someone else an opportunity to, you know, get a wicket. Obviously, Jadeja you know, appealed a wicket. They went upstairs for their second review. It was clearly not out. And then the next over, Ashwin had a wicket of Labashain and Rowett said, nah, I'm not reviewing this shit. I'm not burning another review. It was out. So, you know, it's just a guessing game sometimes, isn't it? And those are the little things that can either put you on top in the match or just make you, you know, a little bit below. So that's where they currently find themselves. Travis Head, though, opening again. Going for nine off six. I mean, Jadu, man. <laughs> what can you do about him? I mean, you just... Just do... Can't really read the ball, can you? I mean, the man, he might play it straight. It might swing in. It might swing in. It might spin in. It might spin out. Might stay low. Might bounce up a little bit. I mean, and then, you know, while he's 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 walking into his run-up, he's got that little ponytail that's bouncing up around. That's more distracting than anything behind the sight screen. So I understand why he takes all the wickets. Kawaja. Nice. Nice stuff, Uzi. 60 off 147. Four fours. Played a, cr a very, very, very good and solidifying innings here. Looked awesome. Did not look like going out at all until he played this mind-boggling shot late in the day's play. Oh, no. It wasn't even that late. It was like an hour or so before day's end. But Uz, 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 what are you doing? You knew there was a fielder out there. I don't know where you were going. I don't know if you needed a poo. You needed to get back into the change rooms and FaceTime the wife or something. But no, no, you were looking so strong, my friend. And then he just tried to get on the knee and he tried. I don't know if he was trying to hit it for six or... I don't know where he was trying to hit it other than the other than the fielder because it went straight to him. A good pair of hands out there from Shutman, um, Shutman Tendulka out there. So very good stuff from him. Labashain. Man, 
31 off 91. He just keeps getting all these starts, and then he just just goes out in a in a in a disappointing way. And unfortunately, Jadeja gets him again, and he gets him with another lowy, as Manus would say. That was a lowy. And that was a very much lowy. You know what? Manus gets on the back foot too much. He tries to, even with spin, he hops on the back foot too much and plays in his crease. Like, I feel like if he, you know, got down on the front pad and put the bat down to it and the pad, you know, he, he, he would be a lot more secure. And I don't understand why he didn't do it a lot more because he was doing it for most of the innings. And then the dismissal, just clearly thought it was going to bounce up a bit more. Didn't, stayed low, took out his pegs and, um, yeah, walked off. And uh, he looked like he was sent into deep, deep depression on there. I mean, they keep putting the camera on him in the change rooms. 30 minutes later, the man is still like... <laughs> the man still looks broken into pieces. And that's a guy that cares. Steve Smith. Ah, oh, smudge. Smudgy boy. Damn it. It's just not what I needed to happen. 26 off 38. Look, Jadeja gets him. A faint little edge there to the keeper, Sharika Barat, with a good catch. And unfortunately for Steve, it's just not turning out to be the series he would have wanted either. And as someone who averages over 60 in India, it's not going to be that high anymore, is it? Peter Hanscom then came out. 7 for 36, just blocked everything. Good stuff, Peter. And then Cam Green came out 6 off 10. So, eventful day one here. Plenty has happened. Let's hop into the bowlers, but Ashwin. Jesus, Ashwin has been pumped around, hasn't he? Uh, Jadeja, <laughs> fucking hell. 4 for 63 off 24. Yeah, um, I just, I just don't. Can, can they stop bowling him? Like, without Jadeja... We would win. We would. We would have won this test series. No Jadeja. I have a feeling we almost win this damn series. But actually, that's probably a stretch. That's not true. I'll, I'll edit that out. But still, like Jadeja is just owning this series. Whether it's with bat or ball, mostly ball at this point. And <laughs> can Ashwin make a video on YouTube how to play? How to play him? We don't care about how to play spin. Just give us a video on how to play Jadeja directly. So that would be the next upload for him. It took a while for Muhammad Siraj to come on with the ball as well. I didn't really understand that. I thought it was kind of poor captaincy from Rowett to bring on Muhammad Siraj so late in the day when yeah, I would have just opened up with Umesh and Siraj bowling a few overs and then get into the spin. But look... Each to their own. He's the captain. There's a reason I'm sitting at home and not the Indian captain. So, <laughs> look, I'll give him his credit, Rowett. I'll give him his credit. Um, but I still would have brought him on a bit earlier. So, hey, that is day one. <sighs> day two, man. It's going to be huge. It's going to be big. It's going to be large. It's going to be massive. So, hey, if you're not tuning into day two, find a screen. Get tuning in. Because the test match will be decided here today. If India can trundle Australia out for anything under 200, they're right in this test match. But if Australia, if we can find a lead of 150 plus, it's going to be a very, very long way back in this match for Team India. But hey, that's the beauty of test cricket. You never bloody know what's going to happen and what will happen here in India. Looking forward to day, day two. I was about to say day three, day two. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see everyone in the next one.